Hey guys, it's Kip Tesor with DT4 EMS, where we're all about saving yours while you save others. And so many of you have heard lately that I've said I spent the first 10 years really kind of teaching wrong. Uh, and what I mean by that is I didn't get to the root of what the problem was. Well, that was about 10 years ago now. Once we realized what the issue is, everything changed. So the message changed. Stay with me for just a moment. Here's the deal. On the job, most people have no problem identifying a true patient. The person that we got into this job for, you know, the little old lady who's having a stroke, uh, the hypoglycemic, you know, that type of stuff. And usually, there's not a big problem with them recognizing a criminal, someone who's really, truly, I mean, the police are already there, you know, bad stuff has happened, and uh, that's usually pretty cut and dry. The issue where all of our folks are having the most trouble is this area right here. And this is the part where we come in. It's the critical thinking skills to give people that opportunity to recognize when there's a change in relationship, meaning Anybody that's been in healthcare for any amount of time has dealt with a person that may have been a patient, but could also have been a criminal, go towards a criminal that becomes a patient. That's all understandable. What we're saying is, this is where our people are getting hemmed up and are either losing their jobs, getting their agency sued, or getting hurt themselves. Because in the big picture, if you are the provider, being a paramedic, a nurse, an EMT, or a firefighter on the EMS scene, uh, if you treat a patient like a criminal, you get in trouble. If you treat a criminal like a patient, you get in trouble. The trouble is different depending upon which issue you're in. For instance, if you're treating a patient like a criminal, you are the one that's gonna get in you know, trouble, whether it be losing your job, getting written up, uh, you know, gets on the media, and now you're in all kinds of trouble. If you treat the criminal the same as you did a patient, that's where we're finding our people getting attacked, getting assaulted, uh, you know, beat up on whatever kind of scene you want it to be. Now, here's the trick. If you want to know for yourself the short answer on, well, how do I know the difference? How can I really tell? Well, i got a formula for you. It's pretty simple. I want you to take what a person says add it to what they do. And that, ladies and gentlemen, can equal your reasonable belief of their intent. So to put this in practice, if a person tells you they want to kick your ass, then their actions are telling you as a person they're trying to kick your ass. And you're going, that's purposeful. Well, guess what, guys? That's most likely a criminal. That's a person who's committing a criminal act. If the person thinks you're an alien and they're pulling away from you going, please don't take me, uh, and you believe that those actions are defensive in nature, meaning the person's scared of you uh, and they're truly confused based upon your gut feeling, well then, you believe that person is a patient. So all you have to be is reasonable. Now if you want to understand reasonable and how important that plays out in everything that we do on the job, you know, visit the website, check us out. Uh, tons of information there on the DT4EMS.com website. I'll provide links for it here in the description. And if you appreciate what we're trying to do here with the saving yours while you save others, tell others we exist. There's a reason why so many people are not training with us. Why don't you come find out?